Hello, that's Halo with the Armageddon Report. Severe thunderstorms with damaging winds and tornadoes expected over parts of the upper Mississippi Valley this afternoon and tonight. That's what's going on today. We've got as high as a moderate risk going on, and that would be because of the 45% chance of severe winds. So, let's switch tabs. So everything's all out of order. If you click on that, you end up at the public weather outlook that's produced by the Storm Prediction Center. You can even download one of the videos that uh, from one of the meteorologists that was most likely produced this morning. Frankly, I did not watch it, so I can't tell you for certain. But the public weather outlook was updated at 11.37, and basically this thing, the headline is the same thing that's up there. But you read this, an intensifying surface low pressure, yada, yada, yada. This is in a slightly more human format than, say, what's down here. See, I saw the words low-level jet. Who even knows what that is? So, let's, uh, wrong tap. There we go. Let us look into the rapid refresh crystal ball, which this was produced 11 o'clock this morning, CDT, so it's a bit out of date or whatnot. But, so basically, we're going to see what the radar might look like as of the 11 o'clock run. So if you see that... And if you were to look, so what basically, so Wisconsin is the focal point of the moderate risk. So basically what it seems to be shaping up for is a huge QLCS, quasi-linear convective system, the squall line, stuff like that. And in squall lines, generally what you see are damaging winds. I don't think you see hail as much, but damaging winds definitely. You might also see Generally, if there are tornadoes, they're generally brief and not very strong. I think they call them QLCS spin-ups or whatever. But you can have very strong tornadoes. I don't think you'd ever... I, don't, I think like an EF3 might be the highest that there's ever been. So you can see a strong tornado, but the likelihood that you're going to see like an EF5 type thing that would flatten a town out of a QLCS, I don't think that's possible or if it's not, if it is possible, it's highly unlikely. Anyway, so winds basically is the point I'm trying to make are the big threat today. So let's get back to here. So here's your moderate risk today. Wisconsin again being the focal point. Slight risk though, going all up around that. So let's look at who knows what I'm on. Oh yes, here's the warnings that are in effect right now. Pennsylvania, that's not even part of it, has several severe thunderstorm warnings. And here, what we saw on that future radar loop already looks like it's shaping up to be a big QLCS. So it'll be booking through, basically, it looks like. So here is the wind map, where you can see there's your 45% chance. So basically what that means is if you pick any random point in this purple, pink-looking area, there is nearly a 1 in 2 chance that someone at a random point in that area will see a severe wind event or that someone within 25 miles of them will see a severe wind event. So that's pretty, I guess, bad odds. Depends on what your frame of mind is. It's good odds to see wind, but you don't want to have a damaging wind event. So hail, you know, by comparison, doesn't look as much of a threat at all. 15% for that. Tornado, however, again, Wisconsin mostly being the focal point as high as a 10% chance. So again, that would mean that like pick a point, that means there's a 10% chance at that point or someone within 25 miles of them will see a tornado. So let's go ahead and go on with the severe weather outlook where we look at the things that are tapering off. So tomorrow, who knows what that means? It probably means that all of this area or something is in a thunderstorm area, but here are where the actual severe area event thingies yep. Right, thingies is a scientific term, look it up. Yeah, 5% tomorrow, here's where the severe weather is possible. This will be confusing because there's no thunderstorm areas yet on a day three, but there is this 5%. However, let's quickly skip ahead to the medium range stuff. Starting May 27th, day four and day five. So again, we're back to actually having stuff on the map. So this would definitely be something to pay attention to. So May 27th here, at least as of now, that's what's been predicted, and May 28th. So now we're back all the way up to talk about Hurricane Bud. There he is. He has made his appearance. This is the first time, at least for me, that I'm seeing him being called a hurricane instead of a tropical storm. So where's Bud going? Who knows? Bentley, I don't know what the blue thing is, do they? Do they? Do they? No, I don't know what the blue thing means. Maybe that means when it's going to make landfall. 
So it looks like Bud potentially going to be hurricane strength when he makes somewhat of a landfall on Mexico, but then apparently going to book right back out and say, oh, I've seen the country, okay, I'm off to the next one, or, but I'm going to die in the ocean or something. And then in the Atlantic, 40% chance of tropical cyclone formation. So, if this were to turn into something, it would be named Beryl. Atlantic hurricanes, and so this would, it, you know, if it becomes a tropical storm, that's when they name it. Otherwise, it would be what? Probably TD2A, I think, would be its name if it never reaches tropical storm status. I don't know how that works. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, Beryl would be the name if that does pan out. And then, of course, over here to show you that uh, apparently there is now a watch in effect, severe thunderstorm watch. That's what the yellow would be, I do believe. It's not even on the map. But red flag warning. So California, Nevada, you, you know, all these states are basically on fire. Not literally on fire, but that means there's a increased fire spreading risk. That's a red flag warning for you. And then up here, it's winter. Apparently, what we got here. Winter storm warning and winter weather advisory. So yes, back on over to here. Where you can see if you're in this area today, you should definitely pay attention. Stay tuned to WikiWix, W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com, weather.gov, Storm Prediction Center. Get your weather radio working. If it's not already working, uh, go buy one if you don't own one, etc., etc. Stay tuned to local TV, assuming they actually cover storms and whatnot. And stay safe out there today.